and I, I think, you know, I, I was thinking about this this morning, that in so many of these cases, we end up having a conversation about communication when we aren't having a conversation about what the communication was about. And that's that seems to be a theme, too, that we can talk about. But uh, certainly it does matter. I, I you know, I'm, I'm a little older, I think, than probably both of you. And uh, uh, the, the Bernardo experience was a searing one, especially if you were in southern Ontario and the trial. Um, and the name, one would think, would leap off a page for people my age, but I would think people even younger than me. Um, and I think that is the thing that has baffled us the most, is when this, when that name was on a page and no one thought to tell a minister or a prime minister that this could be a problem. So it's, it's a communications problem for sure, but it sparked discussions too about um, what is the role of politics in the prison system and what is the relationship between the political arm of government and what government is doing, what the correctional services do. Yeah, for instance, Susan, you've, you've written that you don't necessarily think that ministers should be involved in making decisions about where any prisoner goes. That's but, right. But that the minister should have known. Yes, and the, the minister has, has shown in the aftermath that he he does have some powers to do things, which is, you know, make sure the victim's families were told.